So there's no denying that the brand new Asus ROG Ally X is an incredible piece of gaming hardware, but it is extremely poorly set up out of the box from a software perspective. But not to fear as right now here are the 14 essential steps that you need to take in order to optimize the Ally X that of course also works with the original Ally, including one step that will massively improve battery life and another for much better performance. So let's dive straight in with the crucial step one, which are Windows updates. So let's head into settings to here at the very bottom in the Windows update section. Before we check for updates, I would highly recommend making sure that this get the latest updates as soon as they're available is toggled to off, as these preview updates can cause some headache inducing conflicts. Let's press the check for updates button on the top right to make sure we're fully up to date. And if we do get any preview updates like this, then just dismiss them just to be on the safe side. Next for step two, let's head into the AMD software app. Now in the early days of the original Ally, we used to have to come here and do AMD drive updates in this area, but thankfully these are now all done within Armory Crate. One thing I would recommend is going into settings, then preferences, and just turning all these notification toggles to off. I still feel like that AMD pop-up in the top right every time we launch a game is a little annoying. Listen, I would love to hear from you in which of these AMD features do you like to use and for which type of games. Help our awesome community by letting us all know in the comments. There is a final thing in the AMD app we need to change, so let's go to display, scroll down to the very bright section, and this is on by default for some reason. Let's toggle this to off as it discolors the screen when on battery to save energy, which isn't great. For step three, let's head to the My Asus app, and I would recommend registering our ally if you haven't done so already. Let's head to system updates, click the check for updates blue button in the top right, and I do believe most updates should now appear within Armory Crates that will come on to next. But if any needed updates do appear like here, then let's stay up to date and we'll need to restart to Ally 2. Let's now head into Armory Crates for step 4 by pressing the Armory Crate button, head into the COG settings by pressing the top RB button. So, just one moment. and an amazing quality of life tweet for us in that the update center is slap bang right in the middle for easy accessibility. Let's head into here and this is arguably the most important area to stay on top of all the crucial updates that we get. So let's check this pretty regularly. So in this case, let's update, not forgetting to plug in when updating this and indeed all the Windows and My Asus app updates too, of course. For step five, while we're in Armory Crate, let's configure our RGB thumbsticks by going into Aura Sync, then Aura Effects, and this is a very personal choice in going through each one of the effects and choosing the one that we prefer. I'm gonna pick rainbow and increase the speed. I think that the RGB around the thumbsticks are really underrated. I think that they add a fantastic hardware visual flair. Although I do love tacky stuff, I'm so tacky in fact that one of my favorite places here in the UK is a place called Blackpool. Just think if you tried to order Las Vegas off Timu, and yep, that's about what you'd get. Step six is performance optimizations within Army Crate. So let's head into performance, then GPU settings, and the default is 8G. But setting this to auto should give us some notable improvements to game performance. But this is widely debated, so do let us know which memory settings that you find best in the comments. And changing this requires a restart. Just two more changes in the performance area. Let's head into the eco assist area. And for some inextricable reason, the CPU boost by default is set to on. But let's turn this to off as this will massively boost battery life. It's a completely unnecessary battery drain and we only need to turn this on if we're desperately struggling for performance. Like in some PS3 emulation, for example. And one of our awesome viewers, Julian, recommended this one. Man, you guys are the best. I love our handheld gaming community so much. So if we're downloading loads of games, perhaps overnight, then set this option called keep machine running when the screen is off to on as it will just turn the screen off when we're plugged in instead of annoyingly turning the whole alley off stopping our downloads. Thanks Julian for the tip. For step seven is calibration. Now we shouldn't have to go into the calibration area within Armory Crate to do this. My Ally X feels fantastic out of the box. But if we do feel that our Ally thumbsticks, buttons or gyro are a little off, which may happen over time, then it's this area that was one of the best updates Asus has actually given us within Armory Crate. Step eight is to customize command center. 
This is obviously in the edit command center section here on the right. I like to have operating mode, then control mode, and end task top row, then keyboard, real time monitor, and so on. And of course, this is a very personal choice, but it is worth spending just a few minutes to get this exactly how we like it. And again, I'd love to know what command center layouts that you have and on what rows. So do let us know in the comments. For step nine, let's create a manual performance profile. Let's head into the performance area. The first time we click on manual, we get this pop-up saying we need to click apply. Um, thanks Asus. Let's drag the sliders lower and again set this to what we want. I'll choose 21, which is great for more intensive random, open world, big budget games for instance. We can change the fan curves if we want to as well. Press apply and we get a scary message telling us that Asus isn't liable for any damage, lol. Again, let us know what kind of manual profiles that you have and for which games that you find best in the comments to share with our ally community. Step 10 is our final optimization within Armory Crate, and that is setting the game library exactly how we want it. And guys, can I just say that this carousel style that we finally now have with the recent 1.5 Armory Crate update is what I've personally wanted since day one of the original ally. Just a minute. Yes, Aces, finally, thank you. I'm pumped, man, pumped. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Mm. Let's press select, then customize library. And like I say, this older vertical view just never really made the ally feel like a gaming handheld for me. I've been a console gamer my whole life before getting the OG Steam Deck back in 2022. That introduced me to PC gaming for the very first time. Thank you, Valve. Again, this is personal to you. If you want my settings in Isle of Horizontal, then I love the cover artwork alignment at the bottom. I like my cover art style chunky, so I have it on four. I turn the game title to off as pretty much all the games have the game title in the artwork. Put show background image to on to keep things vibrant. I blur out my background image to about 20% and set the darkened background image to the same. For step 11 is game by game optimization. And there are three areas to this. First is pressing X on the specific game to optimize. Click on set game profile. Go down to configuration and here we can automatically set what operating mode this specific game starts on both plugged in and on battery this is huge and not many other youtubers are talking about this it saves us messing around in command center the second is press x then select game info press select game art and we can upload our own many of you are aware of an amazing game art website called steamgriddb.com we thank our fellow Steam Deck community for this. We just type in the game or app in the search bar, scroll down to find the horizontal one that we want. I love this design here. Press on it. Press the download button on the right. Hold our finger on it. Select save image as. I just save it temporarily onto the desktop. Back in Armory Crate, press add and select to add it. And the third is press edit game artwork and we can stretch to zoom it to get rid of those annoying bars top and bottom that drive me insane. I do admit I'm probably a little OCD. In fact, you've probably worked out how obsessively obsess, if that's a thing. Overall, the thumbnails here on the channel to get them just right. It takes me hours because you awesome viewers deserve the very best. So the ability Asus have given us to get this cleanness in our cover artwork is now very welcome. We're in our final three optimizations now, and these are window settings. For step 12, let's configure the time format. Let's hit start button, then settings, then time and language. And the default is a 24 hour time format. And it took me a while to figure this out because it's hidden. Do you think changing the time format would be right here in dates and time, right? But nope, wrong, no sign of it here. To change the time format, we have to go into language and region. Go down to regional format, Press the down arrow, click the change format box. And right here, we can then change our clock to AM and PM instead of the 24 hour formats, which I really don't like. It's super basic stuff like this that Windows makes so much harder than it needs to be. Step 13 is a crucial one. Let's press the start menu, start to type in Windows features and a turn Windows features on or off control panel option appears. Let's click this to get into the setting. Virtual Machine Platform is on by default. Microsoft does recommend turning this off for gaming, so let's toggle this to off, then applies the changes and we restart. And finally, for step 14, let's click the start button, start typing in core isolation, and this system setting should come up, so tap on this. We get this Windows security pop-up box, and in the memory integrity section, toggle this to off, press yes in this box, 
Then let's press restart and yes again. Now before some of you start picking up your pitchforks to say no way, do not do this, like what happened in my optimization guide from last year, Microsoft themselves officially tell us a link in description that there may be a performance impact on gaming devices with this on. And if we want to prioritize performance then to turn these off. So just do whatever you feel comfortable with. I know that for me, performance absolutely really did improve as a result. So maybe just avoid those dodgy websites. Congratulations, your Ally X original Ally is now fully optimized. And if this helped you, then hit like and comment so the YouTube algorithm can spread this to a lot more people in our amazing Ally community. And if you've ever enjoyed a video on the channel, then to get subscribed, as a whopping 93% of you amazing viewers aren't yet. And the goal is to get this down to 50% by the end of the year, so the channel may be big enough so that whenever the ROG Ally 2 comes out, then Asus will send us an early review unit, like they do the other bigger YouTubers, and you guys can make that happen. Let us know any Ally tips that you have in the comments below, and as a thank you for watching this far, here's an awesome quote. The pain you feel today is the strength you feel tomorrow. For every challenge encountered, there is an opportunity for growth. If you're going through a painful situation right now, then have faith that you'll come out the other side bigger, stronger, and more resilient. You've got this, so stay encouraged today, guys. And if you'd like to know how to play our Switch games on the new RG Ally X, or indeed the original Ally or Legion Go, then click here. I could not do this content without all of your amazing support, and as always, I so appreciate every single one of you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.